Hi guys, so Mariah's on quarantine. So this is how I serve her meals. I'm gonna put her food right here outside her bedroom. Her bedroom's in there. So I'm gonna put her food there. And then I have a cup of fruit and disposable silverware. I have some crackers for her and I have her medicine. So, and then I tell her what the directions are for her medicine. She doesn't want to be seen. She's under her blankets right now. Um, and also, if you can see here, I have that jug of water and the O2 monitor, a mask, and her thermometers. So I'm making her, because she has a cough, but she does have bad allergies, so we don't know if it's just allergies or what. But just in case, since we have the baby and my parents, um, she has to check her temperature several times a day and send it to me through text and her O2, which they've all been normal. She hasn't been running one. She's been in here for two days. So that's good, but she still feels just fatigued and has a cough. Um, and I think those, oh, a little bit of pressure in her chest. I think those are her only symptoms. So this is how we're doing her food and stuff, though. And she can come get it. And then if I do it that way, I can have her, I can use wipes or Norwex cloth or whatever to wipe up that area. I have hand sanitizer out here. If I was going to go in her room to drop anything off, I make sure she's in bed far away. And then I um, will put it on her dresser and usually I'll have gloves on. And then I have a trash bag that I've been having her put all of her stuff in. And I'll just put gloves on and take that all out at once. Um, luckily, the bathroom is that door right there. So it's like straight across. So she can use her bathroom. Nobody else can use her bathroom. Um, when this is all done and we figure it out, I'll come through and clean her room up, wash everything, and then obviously clean up the bathroom so other people can go in there. I'm trying to think if there's any other tips for quarantining. So like, oh, her jug of water in there. Um, it's just one of those hospital jugs. So what I do is instead of bringing that in and out of her room, cause that's just going to cause issues you want to have one either disposable cup that you can throw away at the end or two a cup that you can stick in the dishwasher so that cup will stay in there and then I'll come and refill it I'll bring water and ice up and refill it but I'm not going to bring it downstairs every time it needs to be refilled because that's just introducing germs so she'll have that one cup um, like I said her silverware disposable if you can if not just make sure you put it Wear your gloves and bring it downstairs. Put it in the dishwasher because that will kill whatever needs to kill. Um, if I touch her doorknob, then I'll use the hand sanitizer, which you can tell the door's like right there and the hand sanitizer and everything's right there. So then I'd use my hand sanitizer and then I'd go wash my hands in the closest sink. But again, not using her bathroom um, because, you know, just in case she does have the virus. We don't want to spread it. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else special we've been doing. I told her she needs to open her windows, get some sunlight. I probably will have her go outside later, and if I do that, I will make sure she doesn't touch anything on the way out of the house. I'll have all the doors open that she needs to go out so she doesn't have to touch them. And then I'll have her wear a mask, um, and we'll be kind of off you know, like to at least 10 feet away if she does go outside because it is important still to, you know, go outside and have sanity and get your vitamin D and stuff. And she actually does take vitamin D and today's her day to take vitamin D, which reminds me, I need to go get that. I actually have it over here. So I'm going to grab that and put it on her medicine thing. Um, and then also... Once I find it, I'm going to put some stuff in her diffuser because we really haven't put anything in the diffuser because I was hoping that it was for sure just allergies and we'd know by today and she could come out. But I'm not 100% sure, so she's going to stay in there. Um, today, again, I'm looking around. I don't know where the stuff is, but I'm going to put some stuff in her diffuser for her to see if that helps with her cough. She's not coughing anything up or anything. Um... And it could just be allergies, but we want to be safe, so...